Hello, hello, boys and girls. This is Other Teal, of course, and welcome back to another Battlefield 4 video. This time we're gonna do something I haven't done in a very, very long time. That's actually analyze the gameplay. We're gonna actually only talk about the gameplay, my choices of weapons, my choices of uh, where to go, and so on and so on. And I used to do this a lot in Battlefield 3. I haven't done it in Battlefield 4 because I felt like it was never even good enough to to really talk tactics and that kind of stuff much. But it, it's definitely come to the point where it's it's definitely not fixed completely I've noticed uh, after playing the patch but it definitely works a hell of a lot better and is way more enjoyable to play and, and you can kind of talk a little bit competitive tactics and that kind of stuff so first of all uh, it's uh, Lumpur Garden or whatever it's called uh, Chinese kind of like uh, um, I, not a market but what you call it park I guess yeah a Chinese park or, or of some kind and uh, pretty beautiful really nice layout uh, you have a good mix between long medium and short range engagements I personally picked the AK-97-1 with a silencer, a grip and uh, just simply vanilla iron sights because I thought the range won't be very far anyways and the AK is so useless at range anyways it doesn't really matter. Uh, got the mass as a backup for really close quarter stuff. It's really nice to have those six, what is it, five or six shots? I think it's six shots of shotgun shells. Yeah, it is six shots. It's pretty goddamn awesome. And a Magnum as a finishing pistol for those longer range shots where I kind of do 50 or 70% of the damage and then run out of ammo because it's the AKs is simply too inaccurate. So yeah, a pre pretty good weapon choice, I think. And let's see if it pans out. Or obviously I know how it pans out, but you guys get to see how it pans out. So. We're already doing fine here. We have five out of seven flags connected, and I'm right now pushing on the on the F and uh, oh, what is it, the G flag, and I'm uh, focusing mainly on going behind the enemy here to cause some confusion, having just one squad behind enemy lines shooting them in the back all the time and taking their flags from them is really great for, for just not ruining the, the moral because they kind of get shot from all kinds of angles so they get really unsecure about where to go uh, here's a great example of it I use up all of the ammo in the AK and then I go with the Magnum but this guy he gets shot by the Magnum three times before he goes down so he definitely had time to get some healing done by his medikit I think uh, or at least that that's what it looked like to me but yeah as you can see the ma the the AK is really not useful at these kinds of ranges this this might be uh, between 50 and 70 meters I would say it really has its strong side between 30 to, to literally zero meters or yards it's kind of the same thing so right now I'm just kind of holding around here I noticed that, that the enemies are pushing our B and A flag they already got the B flag but I still want to kind of hang around here and and kind of be an insurgent uh, freedom fighter or whatever you want to call it and, and just kind of screw up as much as possible for these guys uh, I suppose put a claymore I always run on to god I hate the claymores <laughs> Fucking hate them. I'm one of those okay good players that, that kind of can outshoot and outmaneuver most people, but I'm completely freaking blind to things like claymores and I get so mad when I get hit by them. It is just so bad. So uh, right now I really want to get back and protect the A and B site, but I'm thinking I can stay here until I die and then just spawn on the B flag and try to get the A flag back and that's actually what happens. The enemy pushes uh, their, their kind of starting flag good enough to actually get me and uh, I got 12 kills in a row there. That's not too bad. I'm quite happy with that. 12 kills before I died. We got all but the A flag, they're taking the F flag now though I believe, no, it's the E flag they're taking, uh, so I spawn on B and I go towards A straight away, I spot an enemy but I'm not shooting at him until I actually get kind of close to him because I know I have an advantage, uh, especially when it comes to the rate of fire, if I'm closer to him compared to, to farther away from him, and then I notice that, oh shit, the A flag can only be capped this close, I have to actually stand at this fucking pillar, and as bad luck happens, I have a friend there but the both of the enemies spawn kind of behind him or actually in front of him but but behind him in my perspective so I can't actually see them and uh, I just managed to kill one of them with kind of twitching there and hip firing so spawn on B again and I'm still pretty much alone here there's one squad leader up there from another squad and I'm kind of alone I noticed some dudes running up here to kind of try to get the guy so I, I quickly mow him down and then I go for the sniper but man he shoots two shots at me and I'm guessing both of them maybe hit in the head because I'm basically dead straight away I'm like 
Okay, this is not going so well. First 12 kills in a row and now two deaths in a row with almost no kills. I, a third time, I decide to spawn on the B flag. I'm like, fuck this. Okay, there's more friendlies here. Now we should be able to get it. Uh, one friendly goes down, spot on enemy. Uh, see another enemy behind me. Or actually, I hear him screaming because he I killed this friendly. And he does that like scream out like, friendly down or whatever. You, you probably heard it there during the video better. But I was talking. And here's kind of the drawback with the AK-97-1. You saw me there staying on target really well. I did 96% damage to him. But with that AK-12, he managed to get a headshot onto me and I'm dead and right now we're kind of losing a lot of points here we have a good lead but this is this is not good so I have to spawn all the way back here and uh, try to retake the construction site here oh what is it is it the C flag I believe it is the C flag and this is actually one of my favorite points it really reminds me about uh, Nosher Canal so the team deathmatch favorite map uh, in Battlefield 3 this little part of the map I really enjoy it there's a lot of like small hiding spots where you can kind of take cover, reload, then like encircle the enemy and that kind of stuff. And this time I feel a little bit better uh, attacking A and B, but uh, there's definitely more enemies here as well now since they're kind of down to the lost flags over here. Uh, they don't have any other flags, so I'm trying to keep this construction site under control for us at the same time as I'm trying to push up so to say and I'm not getting much pushing done because I gotta stop and reload and stop and fill up health so much and and kind of also check out from above because they can easily get on top of you from above and uh, now the enemy is actually kind of pushing the spot a little bit the AEK 97-1 really shines here close combat just full out the mow down two guys no problem at all and uh, then you just reload there's a little bit of an issue with it though uh, it has a very long reload time. It obviously is is not very accurate, but that reload time is not very good for a weapon that you like to use at close quarters. Because uh, you, you can see here, I'm trying to get those two guys spotted over there. I get a couple of hit markers, but that's pretty much it. And then I see a grenade uh, lobbing towards me. I'm like, yeah, fuck that. I'm, I'm not going for it. I'm going to kind of stay here inside of the train station because it's more close combat and this is where my weapon is most effective especially since I got the mass as a backup. I mean the Magnum like I said it's a it's a nice finishing pistol at range but not if the enemy is behind good cover. So I'm running around here kind of like a retard with, with no head like a chicken without a goddamn head trying to figure out if the enemies I see spotted on the map is above me uh, on, on the same level as me or under me. Or actually, they can't be above me. They can only be under me or on the same level. But but you guys get what I mean. Uh, so I decide to kind of go down here to the ticket booth area and kind of clear it out. I see oh spawn beacon. Oh crapper! There's a guy there. Oh, we're down to seven percent health, and I see the bullets just passing by me, and I'm like, oh man, I just barely make it in. I I double check my weapons. This is something I like to do as well. A good tip to give you guys: always like aim for head and that kind of stuff, and and go into cover. But uh, this th that's something extremely nice to do as well. I hear some screaming over at those boxes like I said before, like I heard the guy behind me, so I toss a couple of nades but I see no hit markers, so I'm basically like yeah, I probably, I was probably mistaken I probably didn't hear him correct uh, spot this guy here, try to get him in back easy peasy, N lemon squeezy no issues, we got both A and B back, but there's still a couple of these guys around here kind of causing issues I pre-fired the stairs because I was sure he was going to be down the stairs, but he was actually on the top level, and there's still actually I got them sniper here, so I'm like, ah, god damn it. Okay, let's let's check the, the right side of the map here a little bit, just to kind of clear out any residual enemies and also any potential spawn beacons, because they can obviously cause some big issues and you don't want them being there all over the place. See, a grenade explosion, then grenades incoming. Uh, <laughs> go for some shots on the guy, <laughs> reload. My friendly goes down, but I managed to hit fire both of the suckers down. Uh, actually, it was a killer system one of them, I'm pretty sure I would have finished him. I go for a revive on the friendly uh, by switching the kits, but then uh, he's already revived by other friendlies, so it really didn't matter. I keep on pushing here. I want to get this guy behind the uh I even pre-fire him and everything, but he's already dead. So they got both F 
E and G back now, so uh, that's kind of what I'm pushing for. I'm thinking, should I go left or should I go right? But I noticed that, oh shit, there's actually like four or five enemies actually pushing here for the construction site. So I'm, I'm quite happy because, like I said, this is one of my favorite spots to actually fight in. So I was hoping there would kind of be a little bit of a prolonged battle here because I always get quite a lot of good kills when I can jump around in and out of cover, uh, shoot, switch weapons and that kind of stuff. Uh, but sadly, they all go down and it seemed like they were only one squad so yeah that kind of sucked but uh, we're, we're doing really good here we're definitely helping out the team and uh, we're definitely winning at this point there's no question about it it's, it's just a question of time really uh, get one last kill I think that is actually gonna be the last one because we're down to two tickets zero tickets and there we go victory 671 tickets to zero not too bad so let's see if, how did we do actually the ak 971 definitely a good choice uh, definitely kind of a, a good setup without a doubt we, we got lots of kills and we did well obviously kind of weak on the longer range engagements like 50 meters and more uh, maybe should have gone for something a little bit more intermediate like an m16 or something similar uh, but but we did pretty goddamn good anyway Anyways, uh, 36 kills and 4 deaths, not too bad. As usual, thank you guys for watching, have a wonderful day, bye bye.